has just sat here for about two weeks because I've been too busy getting everything ready for winter. I came back here. He just opened up my little tiny gate there. And the horses came to the back and they came past it and ate around there and <clears throat> trotted past the gate. Gulas is out here today. See, they're just all eating around. And then I beckoned to Juno. I just went like this. And Juno came on in. So I'm concerned that he doesn't feel pressured in here. So I'm only gonna let one other horse in with him and whoever chooses to be that horse can be. I'm a little concerned that if they get panicked and they wanna get out, that this tiny little gate is not too obvious. But um, Mama doesn't look like she wants to come in. She's more the one who gets the most scared, so. Yeah, it's good, Odie. Maybe if you stay outside. I'd be okay with Montar. Any, actually, I'd be okay with any of the other three in here with him. They're not going to get too panicked. But I love that he came out, took a sniff. Now he's just getting the grass that's grown up probably a millimeter more inside here than outside the arena panels. But I have no agenda for today. Do you have a thought or a hope for today? No, I was just looking at how beautiful that picture is right now of those three. That was like the triangle. Oh, yeah. That was gorgeous. I missed it. Because I distracted you. No, I just, I, if I could only take a picture with my eyes as quick as the moment. You yes. Know, by the time I get my camera. That's true. So many fleeting moments like that. So we have no agenda. And if the only thing that happens is Juno eats around the trailer, separated from his herd, that's actually a huge step forward for him to be on the other side mm. of the fence from all his safety and be the only one in here with the trailer. So if that's the only thing that happens today, I'll take it. She loves you, Tara, but she don't love you that much. <coughs> she loves you enough to have a baby with you, but forget the cuddle stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna come in here? Gonna come in here with your son? A daddy. Yeah. Here comes daddy. So I'm gonna stand here right near the gate because I'm gonna let them out the second they want to go out, but I'm not gonna let any more in. And I think. Jax is going to be the next one that wants to come in, but not today, Bobby, okay? Otherwise, there's too many people. I'm going to put away the video camera because I'm feeling that just having the camera rolling itself creates a bit of expectation or like waiting for something to happen, which translates to a type of tension. And I really don't want that. I want to just hang out. And if you, Liz, and me just sit in the trailer and talk while they nibble grass today, that's awesome. So what's really cool is Big Mama Odie, who has had the most fear about trailers, has chosen to come in after Montaro left. About mm, seven minutes later, she asked to come in. So, Odie, I'm going to close the gate behind you, but you can come out at any time, all right? I'll be right here. And she's going around to see her babe there. Hang on, let's get the gate locked. Where's your baby? Oh, he's gone around the other side. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Oh, is that a June bug? Yeah, the June bug. Odie, are you going to fit around there? It's kind of tight up here. I actually definitely need to get some more panels and create more space here. Yeah. Watch under here, Odie, okay? Because that's quite low to you, right? Right? This is quite low down, sweetheart. I want you to 
you know, kind of hit yourself. And then watch out for here, right? That's near your head too. And then, yeah. Okay, Bowie, just be careful. I'm surprised you didn't want to go in first. Want to give everyone else a chance? Yeah, before you claim it. Mr. I love trailers, because I was given my grain and hay. Yes, you love trailers, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, he does, do you know? He loves trailers. Yeah, I'll let you in here when they're done, for sure. <clears throat> Sending you this her picture. Cool. So Juno came over to the gate and I opened it and he sniffed it a bit and decided not to. And Odie came up to the back of the trailer and sniffed it a bit, but she hasn't asked to leave either. So I'll go back in. you know? What happens if I go inside the trailer? Hey? Eh? Hello, Juno. Hello. Let's go to the front. Hi, Bubby. Can you see me? Hi, Juno. Hello. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Look, I'm inside the trailer. Yeah. Oh, Delina. Yeah. Do you know, do you know that this door opens? See? Hey. Oh, Bobby. Hello. Hi, sweetie. I'm letting them see my hand and arm hanging out. I don't think Odie's really seen or noticed me yet. But you don't have. Let's open this door, the side door. That'll be cool, hey? Then they can have another view in of the trailer. <clears throat> Juno, watch this. Juno, let's open this one, Bubby. Look, Juno. Yeah, this door opens. Where's Odie gone? Oh, hello, Odie. Hello, big mama. Oh, look. Hi, Zozie. Hello. How's it with good girl? Hi. Hi, big mama. Hello. Hi, Odie. Oh, big mama. You hold mama's hand? Yeah. Oh, that's my good girl. That's my good girl. Do that again. Oh, damn my good girl. Hi, Juno. Juno, look. Hello. Look. I opened the gate. I opened the side gate. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to come and have a look? Are you going to come? Hi. <laughs> oh, hello, big mama. Hello, big mama. Get them a big girl. Oh, look at that back. Oh my gosh. Look at that beautiful, strong, gorgeous back. Hi, ah. Presh. Do you guys want to come out yet? Hmm? You had enough? You want to come out, sweet pumps?
Not yet. Go out, Odie. Had enough pumpkin? Yeah. Yeah, you can. That's right. Yeah. You can just come in here and play and hang out, and you get to leave whenever you want. Good job. Good girl. Good boy, Juno. Good boy. All right. Who wants in next? Zozy, you want to come in? Trying to come in? Oh, you want Gulis to come with you? Want Gulis to come with you? Yes. Maybe not. I so honor allowing horses to make their own decisions in their own time. And to just give them the space to think about things with zero pressure and zero expectation. Like honestly, I don't care at all if she comes in. Because I, I got nothing invested in this. It's totally about whether she wants to play today. Oh, oh and they're off. Something spooky them. And so isn't that interesting? Because how do we know that she didn't feel that something over there was a bit iffy? And so she kind of was thinking about it, but kind of tuning into her herd, kind of not knowing what was happening. And if she'd been in here, she wouldn't have been able to run with them. Like I just find when we get out of this human dominance thing and our own agenda and our own timing, there's so much that they're aware of or they're processing or they're thinking about or they're connected to that we are completely oblivious. Yeah. So this is yet one more of a thousand reasons to kind of really let them be in charge. Well, yeah, Zozie. She what was still that? wants back here. She does. But we're going to totally let her decide when and if that feels safe, and it may not be today. It's up to you, Bubba. Oh, are you going to come back in? Hey? Come keep me Yeah. Aww. The dojis sure love to be in here. Odie's going in that little catch pen area. That's the only gate in, so. The grass. They probably just saw those posts. Oh, yeah, because the posts weren't there before. <laughs> and the post pounder is new. The grass has just grown up a little bit in there. Same as it has in here, just because it's been closed off. And see, when I feel into whether I should put hay in this trailer or not, I feel like not yet because putting hay in there is going to add, it'll add an inducement, but it'll also add a form of pressure, mm -hmm. a form of like, oh, I want to go in there. I want to, right? Instead of it being pure curiosity yeah, or pure comfort to just be around this mammoth <laughs> metal structure and feel chill. And so, no hurt. you're in no rush anyways. It's 
not like you have a trip to go on next month and you need to get them in here. Exactly. There's so much, the, the I guess, the beauty of time. Exactly. Yeah, the luxury of time. Yes. That we've created, that you've created in your life with intent. Yes, and as as a direct result of having to get them on trailers with no luxury of time yeah. and just saying, I cannot do that anymore. Yeah. I must create the time and space for them to do this with ease. Yeah. They'll put the, put the video away. I think we're done for today. done trailer play for today. Thank you.